So within Black Myth Wukong, I have found an NPC who allows you to spend those mine cores in upgrading your character's stats. This isn't using sparks, this is another method. I will show you how you can trigger this NPC to appear a little later on, and I will also show you guys an early game farm you can use to get more of those mine cores. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and I to celebrate the release of this amazing game I'm giving one lucky person a chance to win Black Myth Wukong and it's as simple as this, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed the more I see you active on my Black Myth Wukong videos the more of a chance you have of winning because I'll pick one person from the comments section and announce them at the end of the week on Sunday's video so good luck everybody so as I've played the game since release, I've been collecting and storing those mine cores, not really knowing what they are mainly used for. I knew how to get them quite easily, which I'll show you guys later on in the video, but exactly what they were used for, I wasn't sure, as this is supposed to be a rare material. That was until I found an NPC, a fox, did a little job for him, and then found him later on. And then he offers his services by taking these mine cores in exchange of permanently upgrading your character's stats health, mana, stamina, defense, etc. etc. So, where does this even all start? Well, you first meet this fox who goes by the name, I believe, of Zoo Dog. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but you find him hiding under a bridge within the Sangate village. So if you haven't seen him yet or been here yet, head to the village entrance shrine uh, within Sangate village and follow this path to him. Once you've cleared out his dialogue, he basically asks you to take out a frog boss who is found a little bit further down. You come at a good moment. One of my formulas was swallowed by a petty frog. Stay and help. A deity like myself will not short you. So that's what you need to do. Jump down and take out this shrug boss who goes by the name of Lang Lee. To be honest, he isn't too bad. He ain't hard at all as long as you get used to his attacks. I mean, he's quite straightforward. But do what you gotta do, guys, and take this guy out. Upon you doing this, you turn to Foxy Bingo and he rewards you and then vanishes, nowhere to be seen. Now, as you progress on through the game, you'll eventually get to the Crouching Tiger Temple and you want to come to the Temple Entrance Shrine. This is still in Chapter 2, by the way, guys. Within this temple, you have to fight and take out the Tiger Vanguard, which is an amazing fight. Now upon you taking him out, you get the keyness of Tiger, which if you use on the statue upon these stairs, it opens up a secret path for you. Now travelling down and through the path, through those annoying ass enemies, you will eventually come to this point right here. Now if you jump down, slide down, at the halfway point, there's a shrine which you can trigger. This is a Crouching Tiger Temple Cellar Shrine. Now just beyond this shrine guys, if you walk towards this furnace type thing, Foxy Bingo pops out and welcomes you. From this point guys, you can now use this fox to spend those mine cores on leveling up your character. But he offers more than just this, you can also use to create medicine for you and much more. What's also pretty cool is the fact that you can refund those mine cores after you've used them. I'm not sure how limited this is, I haven't used it yet and I'm pretty sure you won't get back the will that you spend in doing this. So yeah. Now also while you are here, make sure you select talk and clear out his dialogue. He gives you a couple more of those mine cores. So what about these mine cores? Is there a place you can farm them? Well actually guys, there is. Now I posted a farm 
probably yesterday or the day before of an early game XP farm which also rewards you these mine cores at the same time. Now they are a random drop but you get basically one every minute or two which isn't too bad whatsoever considering what you're using them for here. But yes, I know a spot early game which you'll be able to run in about a minute, a minute of 30 depending on how powerful your character is. Each run gives you a minimum of just under 700 will and there's a chance like I said of getting those mine cores from these enemies too. Against a spot I posted the other day for early levels as an early game player but it can also be used to farm those mine cores too because I was getting plenty of them and doing it. So to do this guys, travel to the Bamboo Grove Snake Trail Shrine. Up on you come in here, run up those stairs as I do on the screen now. At the top there will be one of these snake type enemies. Upon you taking it out, it rewards you 171 plus of that will with a chance to drop a mine core. But there's another three of these type of enemies in this area which you can just farm over and over. So after you take the first one out, run back on yourself and jump over this bridge. Below it there will be another one of these snake type enemies. Take him out guys to get that will and a chance of a mine core. Upon you taking it out guys, follow the path I take on screen now. Here guys you'll find another one. He is surrounded by smaller softer healing enemies who ain't really worth your time chasing down and taking out unless they're in the vicinity of you fighting this snake type enemy. There's no point in you fighting them. I think you get like 30 will per one, maybe a little bit more. You don't take a couple of hits, but again there's no point in you running around the area trying to get them out. It's more efficiently if you just reset the farm after taking out the four snake enemies and rinse and repeating it. That way you get more will and more of a chance of getting those mine cores. Then guys you want to run slightly forward as I do and turn left into these trees and there will be another one of these snake type enemies walking up and down this path. Then guys just simply take him out. It really is as simple as that. Now if you have got the incense trail talisman, which you should have, I mean I can't remember where I got this from, it's real early game anyway, but if you put this in your quick access slot, it means after you farm this route you can use it and quickly fast travel back to that shrine to repeat this run over and over. And well, it's as simple as that guys and how you farm mine cores which like I said it's RNG they drop at random but you'll also get plenty of will at the same time like I can run this in about a minute 15 seconds including the loading time uh, it probably take you you could probably do it quicker than that actually depending on how powerful your character is and how hard these enemies hit you it may at most take you about two minutes but per run like I said you're gonna get a minimum of around 700 will uh, even more if you take out the other enemies and you also get a good chance of getting these mine cores too. So yes guys it really is as simple as that. Use it, abuse it and I hope you enjoy it. Now I was getting a, a minimum of about one per run. So yeah good luck to you and I hope it helps you out. And there we have it guys that is where you use those mine cores. Uh, there's probably other vendors later on in the game that I haven't come across yet that you can use these on too. But all I know is Foxy Bingo takes these in exchange for leveling up your character's base stats which is pretty cool. So yes guys again I hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like it really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more of Black Myth Wukong be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.